All right then, now it's time to move on to the last section of Chapter 4, 4.4, which is Contingency Tables and Association. So I'm going to do 4.4 number 9, which, as always, is very similar to what you have to do for your Excel assignments, but not the same. And hopefully you can pick up some other material that would be um, related. Now I've very wisely typed in my table already. Um, notice there's no little CD icon next to these. That means you have to type the table in your own self, which I did. All right, so for part A, it wants us to construct a frequency marginal distribution. Okay, marginal distribution means on the margins, literally like the margins of the paper or the margins of the table in this case. So when it wants the frequency distribution, it really wants to know what's the frequency here. So you find the sum of this column. There, so there's 405 total women in this group. And you find the sum of this column. And there's 397 men total. And then you can find the sum of this row. There were 220 Republicans, 253 Democrats, and let's see, 329 independents. Now, I don't actually have to type sum, 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 sum all the time. Once you type the first one, sum equals, or excuse me, equals sum b2 colon c2, you can actually go grab the handle, remember the bottom right hand corner, and just drag it down and it'll fill in. And you can see that there are 802 people total and that jives with what they said in the problem, 802 people total. There you go. Ta-da! You've done part A. Isn't it exciting? Alright, so for part B, same kind of deal. Um, so I'm going to copy and paste, oops, I better do it this way, copy, and then I'll just change this to letter B, um, because they're all going to be different. So technically part A is really the edges here, if you will. Um, let's see, home, oh here, i got to make this bigger so you can see what I'm doing. There it is. There you go. So really all they were interested in was the margins, what they summed to total. Okay. Now down here they want the relative frequency marginal distribution. So it's going to be the same thing, but it's relative frequencies rather than totals. You can do this a lot of ways. Um, you know that there's 802 totals. So for example, one thing I could do is I could say, look, find the sum of these two, close your parentheses, and divide it by what I happen to know is the total, which is 802. And I can type the number 802. Or I could say, hey, it's in this cell here, D5 but I have to give it dollar signs, right, with the F4 button. Got to need dollars in front and back, and that would work as well. And if I do it that way, then I can click and drag. There we go. Oops, and I can drag all the way to the bottom, right? And there's nothing to add here yet, so it, it doesn't, right? This guy was, this cell right here is trying to add up, here, let me see, these two cells, but there's nothing in there yet. Oh, but there will be, so I'll leave that there. Let me go down here, equals sum of this column, close parentheses, divided by D5, give it a give it dollar signs. And again, I'm doing the dollar sign thing, not because I couldn't type in 802, because I could do that if it made me happy. Um, maybe it makes you happy, I don't know. But um, I'm doing it because that way it's set up for another problem. If I have another problem that is th two columns, male, female, by three rows, the same thing would work. Okay. Alrighty, but it, again, if you like to type the number 802, knock yourself out. Alright, part B is done. Part C. What proportion of registered voters consider themselves to be independent? Alright, well, oops, sorry, I just hit the microphone there, I apologize. Um, independent is this row right here. So that would have been, or this row right here, same thing. So that was 329 people total were independent, which means it's this much for the proportion of independency, right? So if I just highlight this guy, or girl, I shouldn't be sexist, I'll give her a green one. There, that's the answer to part C. See? And the, oops, I better highlight them both green. That makes it more obvious, don't you think? I think so too. All right, that's parts A, B, and C done. I'll be back for parts D and possibly E and F. See you then.